if you go to Munich or Berlin, there are a lot of um, attractions and distractions. When you go to Schalke or to Dortmund, uh, really nice people, but there's not a lot to do. Uh, for, for many people in, in these parts, foot, football is, is, is everything. And some people have even compared it to a religion. Football uh, was one of the things, or probably the unique thing, uh, which made them um, exciting, um, which made them uh, living up to the weekend. But people have the same passion yeah, for their respective clubs, Schalke and Dortmund. Uh, and this rivalry runs so deep that the most passionate fans refuse to even mention the, the name of the other. It affects people in their daily lives. It's the Revier derby. Uh, it's the mother of all derbies in Germany, really. Um, it's, it's a history and, and rivalry between two of the biggest clubs in Germany. Um, two teams separated by less than 20 miles in, in the Ruhr, um, which is not only Germany's industrial heartland, uh, which has been famous throughout time for, for being the centre of coal and steel production, but it's also the football in heartland. I was more into Schalke when I was a kid because I was living closer to Schalke. Lehmann was definitely a club hero. Uh, of course, he'd been at the club since the late 80s. I loved it uh, because, for example, when we played at Dortmund, we scored a goal. Um, I would always turn around and I would extend my arms yeah, like that, yeah, and cheering, and, you know. I didn't laugh, but I just stretched my arms and looked at them, yeah, and um, that was enough for them. He became a club hero in their 1997 UEFA Cup final win over Inter Milan. Yeah, so they get mad about me <laughs> and I loved it. He scored in the last minute of the Revier derby in December 97. Everybody always asks me for my goal. It's in the back of the net and it's Lehmann that's got it! I hope that it will never disappear from my memory. What a fabulous goal from the goalkeeper! I went forward a couple of times before because we were 2-1 down. Lehmann's up in the box again. There were no uh, watches inside the stadium, so I didn't really know how late it was. Still six minutes to play and Jens Lehmann's up there in the box. That's possibly a little bit early. And then I had to run back and Michael Zorg, the managing director today, uh, he tried to chip me from 30 yards. Zorg goes to the lob! And I managed to get that over the crossbar. Oh, Lehmann! That could have been it, that would have been 3-1 and game over. Then I think the last minute, Mark Wilmots, he missed kicked at their corner flag. But the referee thought it was a corner and he gave a corner for us. And he wins a corner. The Dortmund team not happy about that. They said that didn't come off of one of their players. So I ran up again, so um, I was breathing heavily because uh, for a goalkeeper you're not used to run up and down. Well, this must be the last chance for Schalke. Lehmann's up in the box again. The ball came to, to first post. They need to concentrate now, Dortmund. And I realised that it could go to my direction, to the far post. And so I sniffed and just started to run. Muller heads it on. I knew before, when I saw that ball flying onto me, that it was going to be a goal. I was 100% uh, sure because I was, a good, um, I was good with my head and the rest is history. Header on from Muller, Linker, oh, it's in the back of the net and it's Lehmann that's got it! Jens Lehmann has scored from open play! I didn't realise that I was the first goalkeeper to score a goal out of open play. And nobody told me before because nobody discussed it before. He's onside, he's in space and he heads it past Stefan Klaus. What a fabulous goal from the goalkeeper! So everything came together in that moment. The Schalke fans loving it. It was perfect. Yeah, it was a, a, an unforgettable night. Not many players have crossed these enemy lines throughout time. And Lehman uh, certainly made a name for himself in doing so. Most fans um, were furious. After all, this is this is Borussia Dortmund. It actually didn't go down um, too well with Dortmund fans themselves because uh, not only because of the rivalry, but of course they remembered that last-minute goal that he scored. A player moving from one club to another across a region, like isn't that unusual, is it? It does happen. But I think like when it's a goalkeeper who has scored a last-minute equaliser in a massive match, that's always going to taint the Dortmund fans image of him. In the Borussia Dortmund crowd there were some people who always booed me.
at a home game, uh, some of the ultras actually revealed a banner which read, um, once the enemy, always the enemy. At the time I played first at Schalke, yeah? when I came there with Dortmund, I realized before, but then I really, really felt it deep to my heart and I made a mistake by going to Borussia Dortmund. To start with, there was that he's a Schalke player and like he's going to really have to earn his stripes. Dortmund played Middlesbrough in Robbie Musto's testimonial. It was Lehman's first game, or one of his first games for Dortmund. And there was a big crowd of Dortmund fans over for this testimonial. And he was getting absolute abuse because they were so enraged at this idea that a, a Smurf had come over and joined Dortmund. So I cannot really recommend it to anybody else uh, to do that. Whereas I did not go from Schalke to Dortmund. I had this step um, in Milan, in between. I mean, I think it maybe it helped that he'd not gone directly from Schalke to Dortmund. I didn't foresee the consequences, um, how I actually uh, disappointed a lot of people. I think time is, is obviously a great healer um, and it would largely depend on who you spoke to really. But when you do speak to some Schalke fans, there are still some fans who still remember him through service to the club and, and the great moments. I mean, I think it's different coming to Dortmund from Schalke it's worse if they leave Dortmund and go to Schalke. But then, of course, there are others who, who aren't able to forget what he did in, in crossing to the other side. I realised that um, it, it was not of, uh, some of, uh, one of my brightest movements.